The struggle to slow the spread of coronavirus has caused some heated moments caught on video and forced state and local officials to issue strict action to require face coverings nearly anywhere outdoors. Yeah, joining us now to talk about it, attorney Harry Nelson. And Harry, the big question some people have is, does the governor, governor really have a right to force you to wear a mask? So it's great to be with you guys this morning. So under California's Emergency Services Act, Governor Newsom does have the power to, in a public health emergency like a pandemic, to order steps like wearing masks. So he has the power to do it. The question is, in the implementation, he has to depend on local resources on the ground. And so, Harry, why is wearing the mask such a source of controversy here? Is Are we seeing this in other countries? So that's a really interesting question. We're not seeing this debate about masks playing out in other countries to the extent it is in the United States. There is a really, it's a, I believe, a reflection of an American exceptionalism. We as Americans have a long history of really believing in personal freedom, um, even when it comes into conflict with public health data. So, what you know, this is an issue that's playing out. It's also, in addition to that tradition of American individualism and freedom, we have this whole political polarization that's happening uh, around it that's making it worse. But it's, it's actually a much broader issue in America. A couple years ago, I wrote a book uh, called From Obamacare to Trump Care, and we talked about why America's, Americans are unhealthier than everybody else around the world when it comes to smoking and uh, weight and diet. And it turns out it's this very same issue. So it's really uh, the mask wearing is really consistent with uh, the American culture around health and freedom. Harry, real quick, uh, if the governor can pass this law and make it a state law, are, are these local sheriffs obligated to enforce a state law? I mean, what are, a lot of them are saying they're not going to enforce it. Uh, how does that work? So they're required to enforce state law, and ultimately you can go to court and force local officials to enforce state law. What I think we're really seeing is um, uh, is a, d a difference in approaches to enforcement. So in areas like Santa Monica or in Beverly Hills, where there's strong public support for mask wearing, we're seeing tough enforcement and a lot of fines being given out. Uh, whereas in areas like Orange County, where there is clearly a stronger pool of opposition, we're seeing officials take a slower approach with uh, education and gentler steps. I think the, the clear trend is that masks do help, and we are seeing that more and more officials, we're certainly seeing this at a national level, and I think we'll see it on the lo local level, are, go are supporting mask wearing. It's just how they do it. Yeah, the problem is time is kind right. of essential when you're dealing with the pandemic. Uh, Harry, thanks for the great Thank information. You. We appreciate it. And uh, thanks for sharing the information with us this morning. Thanks for having me on. Thank you again. All right, let's talk about the forecast.